Whoa, Whoa, dude, what's up? Time for one last party on the beach. I'm Kyle. I'm Maverick. And, and we, we are, are the Beata Dudes. Dude, I can't believe summer is already over. Major drag. Oh, no, man. It seems like only yesterday we started teaching these kids about the Beatitudes. And now look at them. They're all Beatitudes like oh, us. Oh, yeah. That's totally rad, man. But Kyle, school's starting soon. What if these little dudes forget to be peacemakers? What if they forget to be meek? What if they don't remember what it means to be poor in spirit and pure of heart? You're right, bro. It's easy to live by the Beatitudes when we're away from the peer pressure of school. We better review them one last time. Okay, dude. Let's do this Beatitude style. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Blessed are the humble dudes, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the sad dudes, for they will be comforted most excellently. Blessed are the meek dudes, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are the righteous dudes, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful dudes, for they will be treated most mercifully. Blessed are the pure in heart dudes, for they will see our awesome God. Blessed are the peacemaking dudes, for they will most definitely be called children of God. And finally, blessed are the dudes who are persecuted, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Man, I love the Beatitudes. They remind me to stay humble and always keep my eyes on Jesus. Remember, guys, God loves you. And if you follow what Jesus has taught us, you will be blessed most righteously. Righteously. Have a great school year in school. And remember, be excellent to each other. And always put Jesus first. Catch, Catch you later, later little dudes. dudes. Hey, kids. It's now time for our memory verse. Have you been practicing? It is. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 NIV, or as we say, NIV. When it's daylight on the beach, people play on the sand and surf the waves. When night rolls in, many people like to keep the party going with a bonfire. Those beach dwellers have a favorite campfire recipe. I bet you guys can guess it. You take a marshmallow and toast it in the flames. And sometimes people like to spin them as they toast them, right? Get a good mm -hmm. even toasting. Mm -hmm. uh, you put a, a graham cracker with that or two and maybe some chocolate or something like that and then top it with another cracker. Now, I also, there's another a cracker you can get that already has chocolate built into it. So sometimes I like yes, to use those. so good. Fatima knows what I'm talking about. Um, okay, can you, do you know what the treat is that I'm talking about? I'll give you a second to shout out some answers. I'm sure you guys have this. Okay, so s'mores, s'mores, s'mores. Okay. Uh, also, I have I found these at, <clears throat> at Costco the other day. Look, they're like a cookie, but they're s'mores. They look delicious. We'll probably hand some out in person. Okay. The Beatitudes, okay, why are we talking about making s'mores? The Beatitudes are like a recipe. If you follow the recipe correctly, you will end up with a beautiful treat. And if you follow the Beatitudes, you will have a life filled with blessings. Don't let today be the last time you hear the Beatitudes. Keep reading them or have someone read them to you. Memorize them just like you're, you memorize your favorite recipe. So you can know Jesus' blessings. Blessed are you when you follow the Beatitudes. You'll end up with a life even sweeter than these s'mores. Now, I don't know. This seems like it's a pretty sweet treat, but blessed are you. Okay, kids, we're going to read Matthew 5, 1 to 12. And this is the reading of all the Beatitudes that we have been doing these past couple weeks. Now, when Jesus saw the crowd, he went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. 
Blessed are those who hunger for thir and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil for, against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Okay, which beatitude is your favorite? We've gone through a lot of them. Well, I must say, I like, I like to skip where they said, blessed are the cheese makers. So I'm going to say my favorite beatitude is blessed are the peacemakers. And I think that's a really difficult beatitude to follow. Blessed are the peacemakers. Okay, we'll pause, give you guys a chance to yell out maybe which one is your favorite. Summer is almost over. The season of sandcastles, beach parties, luau's. Well, I haven't had a luau this summer. And surfing is coming to an end. Soon everyone will be back in school. Yep, I said it. Ooh. School, I said it. <laughs> Ready to start a new year with new challenges. <laughs> this week marks the end of our Surfs Up series. And the end of our discussion on the Beatitudes. But just like the upcoming school year, today is also a new beginning. The Beatitudes were the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount. That's what they called it. And that was one of Jesus' first sermons. They are the first part of the message, the first message that Jesus delivers in the Bible. They set the tone for every parable and every message that is to come. They can also help us set the tone for a new school year. Or maybe you're not going to school. Maybe you're not old enough yet, but it can still kind of set the tone for a good year. The Beatitudes are God's way, not the world's way. And if the world, if the world were to create an answer for the Beatitudes, it might go something like this. Blessed are the strong, for they will always trample on the weak. That's not good. Blessed are those who put themselves first, for they know how to get ahead. Blessed are those who follow their own rules, for they will cheat their way to glory. Blessed are those who go along with the crowd, for they will never feel lonely. The world teaches us that we need to follow the crowd, that we need to put ourselves first, that we need to win, and we need to walk all over those who are in our way, and we need to get ahead by any means. Now, let's reread the Beatitudes and refresh ourselves on God's way of living. The Beatitudes remind us that we don't come first. Jesus comes first. Jesus wants us to set aside selfishness and pride so that we can be kind and loving to others. He wants us to stand strong when we have to, but be gentle always. When we learn to live the way Jesus taught us, we will receive blessings that he's promised. The Beatitudes truly are a radical way to live. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Jesus wants us to be humble and obedient. We need to let go of our pride and think of others ahead of ourselves. Blessed are those who mourn. Jesus wants us to give all of our hurts to him. And when we are sad, he wants to be the one to comfort us and get us back on our feet. Blessed are the meek. Because Jesus wants us to be slow to speak and slow to get angry so that we can be kind to others with the words that we use. Blessed are those who hung, hunger and thirst for righteousness. That's a big word. If you're hungry for good things, okay, righteousness, good things, you'll be healthier in the end. Be hungry for the things that will make your spirit healthy. Blessed are those who are merciful. Okay, forgive others the way that you would want to be forgiven. Show mercy and God will be merciful to you. Blessed are the pure in heart. Okay, don't fill your mind with 
gunk and junk and bad music and movies and other things of this world. Keep your mind focused on Jesus. Blessed are the peacemakers. Okay, that was my favorite one. Okay, do your best to live at peace with everyone. Yeah, everyone. Forgive, be kind, and show others the love of Jesus. Blessed are you when you are persecuted. That was a hard one. Okay, do not get upset when someone makes fun of you for being a Christian, okay, for, for believing in Jesus. In the same way they mocked Jesus and the disciples, okay? There, the, okay, so there are eight beatitudes in all, okay, right there, eight beatitudes in all, eight reminders to live a humble, loving life that honors Jesus. As you go through this coming school year, I hope that you'll revisit these words many times until you they're in your heart, until you just do them. Memorize them, pray over them, ask Jesus to help you live by them. The Beatitudes are the beginning of Jesus' ministry. They are also the first steps on the road to righteousness. Let's thank God for these blessings and ask him to pour them out on us. Okay. Let's have a little closing prayer. Dear God, give us your blessings as we learn to live the Beatitudes. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Amen.